This Connect the Dots drawing video is a smart ice cream sundae. Get your dot to dot printable template in the description below to follow with me, grab your art supplies and let's draw in color together. We're going to work on this section first and here is number one. So we're going to do a curve from one all the way to nine down here. And stop there. You're going to connect to 10 and then go all the way up to 18. I'm going to work backwards because it's easier for me to see the numbers. Now from 18, we're going to do a snaky curve all the way to 32 and back to number 1. Now from number 1 to 18, we're going to follow this line we just made and do another one starting at 1. And now we're going to work on this section. So from 9, connect to 33 and go down to 36. And I'm going to go a little bit past 36. Now from 36, you're going to curve around to 44. And just past 44 down here, you're going to be curving up through 47, back to 10. Now we're going to work on this section. So you're connecting 30 to 48, going through the numbers, back to 26. I'm going to use my circle template to get that perfect circle, but you don't have to, you can do it freehand. So the next ice cream scoop is this one here. So from 53, connect to 55, all the way around and back to 21. So our last ice cream scoop is right here. And you're gonna take your marker and from 59, you're doing a snaking curve to 60 like that. And now what you're going to do is fill in from 51 to 55 and 60 back down to 56 for this last ice cream scoop. Now between 59 and 60 I'm going to do another circle to create the cherry. Now right on top of the cherry I'm just going to draw a stem. So between 49 and 50 we're here we're going to draw a straw. So I'm going to take my ruler so I can draw straight lines. And from 50, I'm going to go straight out to someplace over here. And I'm going to do the same thing with 49. Straight out. And then what I'm going to do is curve the top. Now I'm going to draw some stripes on our straw. Let's do a little highlight on our cherry. Now let's draw some squiggly lines on our ice cream for the sauce. Now we're going to work on hands right here for our ice cream sundae. So right here, close to number 19, we're going to draw a palm. So close to 19, you're going to be starting around here and curving around and down like this for a thumb. Now we're going to do some fingers. So swoop up and down like that. Up and down. Up and down. And one more time like this. Now let's connect back to the wrist like that and make the palm. Now we're going to draw straight lines from the wrist to number 14 and 13. Now over here we're going to draw the other hand. So in line with number 9, you're going to do a curve like this. Then a small one right there. And now we're going to do fingers. Then we're going to curve around for the wrist. Stopping there because this is where the hand is going to come in and connect to 5 and 6. Now I've got my thin marker and we're going to work on the face. So let's start with some eyes between 3 and 4 and 16 and 15. We're going to be doing some arcs right here for the eyes. I like to do the highlight next because then I can take the 
iris and pupils around it. I'm gonna make it a girl or Sunday a girl so I'm gonna just draw some eyelashes. And of course above we're going to do some eyebrows and now the same thing on this side. And we're gonna make our Sunday wearing glasses. So I'm gonna draw rounded squares around for square shaped glasses. And finally, we're gonna add some lips. And now for my favorite part, coloring. So I choose all of my colors before I start my picture and put them off to the side. And as always, I start with my base colors first and later on in the video, I'm gonna do shadows. You can choose whatever colors you want for your ice cream flavors, but I wanted to go the Neapolitan route, which is strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. And if you wanna draw a chocolate bar and a strawberry, I'll leave a link to those videos in the description below. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't know the ice cream was called Neapolitan. I actually thought it was called Napoleon. You know, the French military leader in the early 1800s? Yeah, that guy. Did anybody else make that mistake too? Leave a comment down below. I want my ice cream sundae to be a little bit more interesting. So instead of an opaque cup, I'm going to make it a glass and see the layers of ice cream behind the face. Ice cream sundaes were said to be invented in 1881 where a customer asked the owner of a soda shop to top a dish of ice cream with chocolate sauce. The concoction cost a nickel and soon became very popular, but it was only sold on Sundays. As popularity grew, soon it was sold every day and it lost its Sunday-only association, but it still maintained the name Ice Cream Sunday. As you can see, I've already done my base colors, I've let them dry, and now I'm working on shadows. A scientific study was conducted a few years ago at the University of Tokyo, where participants were given ice cream in the morning. This resulted in increased mental awareness and better performance on tests, versus participants who had cold water or nothing at all. I'm a little skeptical about this research, but my take is, ice cream makes you smarter. Yeah, let's go with that. The Guinness Book of World Records for largest ice cream sundae comes in at a hefty 55,000 pounds. It was done in 1988 in Edmonton, Canada. And more than 30 years later, that record still holds. I'm gonna take white acrylic paint and a paintbrush and draw highlights as the final touch to this picture. But you can also use an acrylic marker or a white gel pen. If you love drawing and coloring the Sunday with me, try drawing this video on your screen next and let's do it together! 